What's happening guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Now, uh, this one's going to be a little bit different than usual because I've been having some performance issues with the game and all of my recording footage was all choppy and weird. So I deleted it all and we're just going to talk you through doing what I've done in here basically. So this is our new Red Rough Lima exhibit. As you can see them running and jumping around quite happily. We've got quite a few of them in here. So a nice family group going on. Uh, if I pull up their stats you can see they're, they're pretty happy with everything. Just their hard shelter could be a little bit better. Uh, so what we're probably going to do in this episode is just add a, another shelter in there for them. I've got this big box thing. But it doesn't seem to be providing uh, much in the way of shelter. So we're going to add something slightly different. Now, with that being said, it's quite a fun little uh, exhibit. We've got some sort of pretend airlock. We don't really have proper airlocks in this game yet. I've just kind of put a glass structure in front of the normal zoo doors just to make it as if they can't get out, if that makes sense. Obviously, they can just walk straight through when guests come through. But what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, uh, if as if we were a guest, we could be walking through. We've got some kind of jungle theme, uh, sort of African rainforest style business going on uh we've got this nice little arch going over the top of us and then got a few platforms etc we've got a talking point but at the moment it doesn't really seem to be doing much i did set it to september but i think the um talk uh missed the appointment uh, the idea is for this exhibit to then lead into a ring-tailed lemur exhibit. So again, both walkthroughs. So you'll have the walkthrough of the capuchin monkeys, which will then lead around, and we'll probably call this like, I don't know, climbing corner or something like that. And then you'll go into the red rough lemur exhibit into the ring-tailed lemur exhibit. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's get on with making a little bit of a hard shelter for these guys. Uh, I have a bit of an idea. Which is... Uh, floors. There we go. You can have like a nice hard floor. Uh, where can we put it? Where could we put it? Guess we could stick it over here. Not the best, is it? Hmm. Let's try. Hmm. That I know means then we can just select this on its own. Beautiful. Duplicate and copy, and let's raise it up just a tad. Mm, let's go about there. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lima. Right, and then what we can do is we could grab uh, I can't remember what those were. The climbing log one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll put that there. And then bring it down slightly. Duplicate it. Ah, uh, the performance issues are back again. So annoying. 
I don't know what it is. It's it's either something in my uh, zoos not playing very well, or since the last update, it's it's all gone wrong. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, whatever it is, it's annoying. I can tell you that for one. So if we select these now, and then we do relative to the world. No, it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? Pop that over there. Something along the lines of that. Okay. Now, you grab this, this, this and this we should be able to duplicate them and rotate them in the middle and that will then spin them around center axis there we go and we'll just move that over slightly so it's actually positioned on there wonderful And look too bad is it and then we can put some bedding down in there extra large no large too big medium perfect there we go et voila Cool. There we go. So let's have a little look around before we leave. Um, next episode probably be the ooh, hello rocks. Uh, the mm. ring tower lemur exhibit. So we've got some nice elephant ear plants, sprinklers, like a mobile thing. Yes, can actually come out on the outside and see some of the exhibit. Uh, can't promise they'll see a lot, but it's something. Uh, nice little top tip for people is if you embed rocks in things, it does make it look a little bit more realistic. So in patches, I've got rocks sticking out of the floor, so I've just been sunken in. Uh, and that goes again with the trees as well, so you can get varying heights. A lot of people will moan and complain that they haven't got a, a variety of, of height trees. Well, actually, what you can do is you can sink them into the floor and that creates a little bit more height. It, it's not going to stop the the size of the tree itself. That's going to be obviously the same width and, and depth, but the height you can adjust. You can even make some really quite cool uh, looking grass by sinking trees so far into the ground that only the top leaves are visible. And it adds uh, another little kind of bush that you can style to your liking. Um, I, I believe our little lemurs are making some babes. Yeah, yeah, those two are babies. So that's good. They're breeding. That means they're happy. Anyway, I think we're going to call it there. It's quite a, a quick rushed video. Uh... As I said, I'm having a lot of performance issues, so hopefully I can carry on with this zoo and it, it doesn't mean that I have to stop and start another one. I have tested other zoos. It, it is just as bad, so we'll, we'll see. It's only after this last update, I think 1.53, that actually the, uh, the performance has taken a hit. Usually, uh, I, I, I'm running... At least 60 frames per second. Anyway, thank you very much. If you did like the video uh, and you do like the exhibit, then please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. Let me know how I can improve it as well, because I know for a fact it's not going to be perfect. Nothing ever is. You can always improve. Uh, but that would be really, really, really appreciated. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one.